FIFO? Bike is gonna be a morel cured hamachi bike. And for the main brisket bowls, we're gonna do smoked brisket that Henry and Evelyn brought from Texas, a little bit of rice, peanut nakchang, and some herbs right on top. What's up, everybody? Hey. You guys hungry? Hey. Oh, yeah. So I'm super excited to be here in Seattle. I'm in Taku, finally. I've seen it all over social media. Sophie talks about him all the time, 24-7. It's all I hear about. And when she said she had an extra ticket, I jumped at the opportunity so I could try it, and I'm really excited. Why? Just because I'm Japanese, I'm supposed to know every single thing I'm in. I exactly what I thought. I did. 300 portions. 300 portions. I yeah. like scarfed a bowl at the end. <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. good. So where are we doing this? What? Up front. Mm -hmm. Up front. What's up? Let's line up. And then they're gonna pick up some points. Um, pick up window. But we ended up opening the side window too because it's all accordion and all open. So. Yeah. Um. So asparagus. Like Blanched, marinated in dashi, it's called haominotsukeji in Japanese, and then dipped in cured duck yolk with paprika and a bunch of other umami stuff, and caviar to make it fancy. Uh, for the main part of the menu, we have brisket bowls, because Henry and Evelyn brought over a bunch of briskets. Um, you know, Evelyn's going to be resting until 11.45, because the event starts at 12. Uh, <laughs> These are beauty rests. Um, and then, yeah. We're just gonna serve brisket bowls with rice, not jam, and a few other snacks with it. So this is my specialty. My I opened a restaurant called Yellow. And yeah. It was a banh mi. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the banh mi's are great around. I mean, how much is it, banh mi and the ID, right now? Uh, this Work. one's five bucks. Oh, five bucks? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It used, to be, it used to be like, I mean, I bet you Saigon Deli is still like three bucks, right? This is Saigon. No, Saigon Deli raised their price. Yeah. Yeah. Four, yeah. Oh, yeah. But still three. Like seven, eight, nine. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Two years ago, these were like three, fifty yeah, or something were like, like that. Yeah, they were like dirt cheap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. So today we're going to be doing 300 bowls as well as 40 people for VIP meet and greet as well as some cool special bites from Chef Shota and Chef Evelyn. So when we do these chef collaborations, really half of it is about trying to have a good time getting a little bit out of our box and letting the chefs be creative while the other piece is also trying to help benefit you know, our local community and those who are really doing good work abroad. Um, so this particular event we're working with the Lambert House, they're a local nonprofit that benefits LGBTQ plus youth creates for, like, uh, programs and forums for them to uh, communicate with one another, to get the support that they need, to you know, kind of learn how to navigate the world that they're in. For us, that's a great cause, especially during Pride Week. So figured have some fun, eat a little bit of brisket, and then uh, get the whole team together to do something cool while we do some good in Capitol Hill. Yeah. We do these kind of events on the regular. Some are really quick, casual pop-ups. Other ones are fully formed, you know, five, six course dinners. And we recently did a uh, large dinner for 300 to benefit World Central Kitchen. We might have another one coming up in the pipeline soon too, so keep your eyes peeled for it. So real quick, I just want to get the dream team on the same page over here. 
So basically, for the full rundown on today, we've got 32 single bowls, uh, 97 doubles, 14 threes, and 8 fours. So should be nice and easy. Goal is start hitting bowls together at 1130. I'm just going to call it by number if we hit saturation, but pretty much don't stop going. I'll just let you know when it's time to kind of slow it down. We'll keep an eye on what it looks like outside, and then other than that, just let me know whatever y'all need. I can schmooze people. I can slow it down as needed. You know, it could be charged. That one's um, mostly bigs. I didn't really sort of Uh, my name's Cook Lamb. I'm a chef in Houston. I came here to sue with uh, Evelyn and, and Henry this weekend for this pop-up they're doing for the charity. Um, I'm a private chef currently in Houston. I've been cooking for about 20 years. I've opened a couple of restaurants and now I, I mainly do catering and private chefing and I teach cooking classes and uh, get to spend time with my dog. <laughs> and uh, my first time to meet uh, to me, to, oh my gosh, <laughs> to, to meet Shoda. I was gonna call him D Taku because we're here at Taku. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I've never been in to, to Seattle before and it's such a beautiful city and it's about a hundred degree weather in Houston right now every day, seven days a week all the time. And so it was a nice reprieve to come to really nice weather in, in Seattle. I am Michelle, I live in Bellevue, and I came to Taku today for the Chef Shoda and Chef Evelyn um, collaboration. I am a super fan of both of them. We've watched Top Chef for years, my husband and I, and we were rooting for Shoda last season, and we were rooting for Evelyn this season. And when we saw the post on the Taku Instagram, we knew we had to pre-order and sign up. So I'm here, I'm ready to get our bowls, and we're really excited. bite is going to be a morel cured hamachi bite and for the main brisket bowls we're going to do smoked brisket that Henry and Evelyn brought from Texas, a little bit of rice, peanut nakchang and some herbs right on top. And is the sheet rack set with trays already? Uh, yes. And then, you need a cutting board, right? Okay, so I'll keep here, because I'm going to need to stack out for it. Yeah. <laughs> like, great. Just want water today. I don't know. I would well, probably water bottle. Just like yeah, we call our extra refrigerator space. Yeah. You guys want a hot, oily glass of water from the back storage area? Let's do it. That uh, would have been a good one. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm KT. And we're big fans of Shoda from Top Chef. Thanks so much. Uh. <laughs> we're from Seattle, and you know we've, we've been fans of Top Chef for a really long time, and you know it's cool to see somebody from Seattle like represent the city so well. And we've been watching Top Chef every season and we loved Evelyn on this past season and so when we heard that she was going to be here collaborating with Shoda, we had to come by. We're really excited to eat the food. <laughs> What's up everybody? Hey. You guys hungry? Hey. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, are you guys hungry? How hungry are you guys? The last hey. No, just enthusiasm. <laughs> but anyways, we're working as hard as we can to try to move this line along. So, cheers. Enjoy the Thank sunshine. You. Thank you so much for coming out. We'll see you at the window. Thank you.
telling me. He's like, you guys are so lucky. I'm like, oh, thank God. How long are you guys coming? See, I don't know what's coming. Yeah. How long is the talk for? I'm here to Tuesday morning. So I do get to explore a little. Thank you. Enjoy the bowl. Thanks for the support. This is awesome. Thanks for waking up at 4 a.m. to go get briskets. <laughs> FIFO? Like realistically, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're it's gonna be in the Heights in Houston, okay. which is very I've fun never been area. There, but young you families. get excuse to come. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Oh my God, it's such a really good song, guys. Yeah, I'm really sure. Awesome. Well, listen, the brisket. That was incredible. Thank you. Yeah. So I haven't had brisket like that. Either. Right, I know, he was just like, you can't, he's like, yeah, yeah let's go brisket. You can't get brisket. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't get that. Yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, clarification. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, know, like, I love, you can't do shit about barbecue. I love some good barbecue, barbecue. Right. Yeah. like I, and then yeah. you can't. Yeah. You can't get it here. Because I grew up over here, and I was like, oh, this is barbecue. <laughs> First time I went to Texas, I hit up like yeah. three different joints. I was like, oh, this is what barbecue. That was barbecue. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was just meat that has a little smoke flavor. Yeah. Where did you grow up around here? Redmond. Well, Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Did you go to Redmond? I went for a month until I dropped out, but yes, I did. Oh, how are you? What year? Are you? I'm 33. All right. Okay, I'm older. Thank you. Something like that. Why am I older? Nice to meet you. It's great to Oh, my God. Thank you so much for the gift. Like, you made my teammate life amazing. Oh. April King. April. She just said you were a friend. Future son-in-law. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> real quick. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you, nice. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. Have a safe trip back. Thank you. So I'm super excited to be here in Seattle. I'm in Taku, finally. I've seen it all over social media with Shoda. So I'm super excited to be here. Um, Seattle, apparently, I got really lucky because the sun and the weather is gorgeous, which is nice because Houston's been a scorcher. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been amazing. Like, this place is super awesome. Everybody's been super warm in the kitchen. We brought the brisket. We brought the sauce. Every they took care of everything. Like. The team has been super, super awesome, but we're just excited to feed everyone. So everyone's really enjoying the brisket. Thankfully, we kind of hit it on the head, bringing something that's really unique and speaks to us in Houston, Texas, and bringing something new to Seattle. I heard there is some brisket, but you know, it's not Texas brisket. So definitely excited for that, and everybody's really enjoying it. So I'm just so happy to see all the smiling faces while they eat our dish. Oh. oh. Well, I don't know when I'm coming back. We had to talk to Shota about that. But I'm super excited to just explore currently. And next time, come and like actually hang out. So we'll see. So I am in Seattle till Tuesday morning. Um, thankfully, I didn't plan anything. <laughs> Shota's taking care of the itinerary, which is so exciting because I've just been running around for a few months now. Um, but apparently, I'm going foraging, which like who else would I go foraging with other than Shota? So I'm so excited to be able to find some fresh mushrooms and cook up in the woods. That was amazing. It, you know, exceeded my expectations. Um, you know, it was like kind of a new take on comfort food. Um, you know, with the brisket and the beans and um, pickled onion with the rice. Like, it was, it was amazing. I mean, honestly, my favorite thing was that you can kind of see Shoda's influence, but then you also see that, like, there is a lot of Texas in the food. So it was kind of cool to see what that fusion of talent kind of brought. So that was kind of the fun part for me. Yeah. Hey, so uh, yeah, the food's been amazing. Uh, Evelyn and Shoda was so welcoming and warm and re it's really funny and kind. And uh, the food itself, the brisket was really, really soft, but also just has a really good balance of flavor, which I've, you know, thought went so well with the, the onions and the beans. Uh, and yeah, so I think I loved it. Yeah, like the dish was very interesting because like the Asian influence from Shota was like very like, noticeable where it's like the, yeah, the teriyaki sauce as well as the, the onions like the contrasting to the heavier brisket like yes it's beans and rice with 
brisket, so it's carb carbs on meat, which is a bit heavy, but the like pickled onions was really a nice way to like the citrusy, the vinegary, the to contrast it to make it more like less heavy in a sense, but it was like the brisket was like really well cooked, was juice like very flavorful, juicy and it complemented really well and it just made you want to eat like <laughs> like eat it with the car like the beans and the rice so much more because it's like well like there's so much flavor here i just want something more to go with it and it's like it just paired really well with it and it's a very like it, it's not like i i eaten all over the world like in japan in europe in uh, like a bunch of places in asia and this is very new and interesting combination that i've ever had tried before and so it's i i love this new take on it and like i would love to have this on the menu somewhere so I can actually get it on demand. Yeah. Thank you for bringing it to Seattle. Yeah, yeah. So hot today. This is great. Evelyn brought the sunshine with her yeah. from Texas. Did you guys already get your pre order? Yeah. Or? yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Um, I'm Sophie, and I've been to Taku like a few times. I like I love Chef Shoda. Um, absolutely love him. I'm really I'm like a really big foodie, so I like have a really big restaurant list. Um, I love coming here though, it's one of my like favorite places in Seattle. Um, and I like I saw that this event was going on and I had been to a couple of the other like restaurant events um, that Shoda has done and I was just like really excited so I grabbed the pre-order right away. I'm really excited. Um, I'm Kate. I've never been here before, but Sophie talks about him all the time, 24-7, it's all I hear about. And when she said she had an extra ticket, I jumped at the opportunity so I could try it, and I'm really excited. Hi! Can you say hi? How are you? <laughs> Do you go outside again? Do you want to get your picture with Chef Shoda and Chef Evelyn? No, what, what does Chef Shoda do? In the picture. Oh, wait, show it. Yeah, you can do it. Can you do it? Oh, she's going to be shy. Okay, it's okay. Oh, you're being shy. We're taking another picture of you a few months ago. Or last year. I think I remember that. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming again. Are you are you hungry? You ready for snacks? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be She brought some really yummy brisket, so it's... Oh, so excited. Yeah. It's the one from episode five, as everyone knows. Nice. The brisket challenge. God, you do all the good chefs through. You do a nice job doing that. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's some good fun. coaching. Have you been to Seattle before, Ellen? Oh, my first time. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. Right. Amazing it's weather. always like this. Right Everybody yeah. tells me like this. this. Yeah. They're like, you must have brought the sun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of it in Texas, so yeah. yeah. Take some, yeah. please. And you're probably like, oh, this is nice and cool, and we're all like, oh my god, oh, this, is cool. <laughs> this is like so nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's the so beauty, nice. right? The shade in Seattle with the sun. It's like the perfect nap weather. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I know. That's the whole goal. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for the delicious. Congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm such a big fan. I'm from El Paso, so I was just watching. Oh, nice. Thank <laughs> you. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Um. Hi, I'm Kara. This is my mom, Debbie. We are big fans of Top Chef, which we got into during the pandemic. And we are so excited to see Shoda and Evelyn, so that's exactly why <laughs> we came out. Um, and I found out about it on Instagram because I follow Shoda. <laughs> You have some bad. Nope, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Why? Just because I'm Japanese, I'm supposed to know every single thing you make? One. That's exactly what Duh. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> one. Good question is that. You want to do a quick recap for mm -hmm. the camera? Okay, go. Action. What do you want to do? So the last attendees just left, and how you feeling? Great. Yeah. I feel like everybody really enjoyed the brisket. I'm so excited. That's and 300 portions. 300 portions. I yeah. like scarfed a bowl at the end. <laughs> it was really. It was good. really good. Yeah. I mean, for us to like do all the different compartments and then put them together, and then it really did work. Yeah. And I think it really did. Did you like well. that I asked everyone who they liked better between me and you? <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm gonna do that when he comes to Houston. I see know, how right? that plans out for him. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for following, guys. Cheers. Bye.